Brulo with us tonight. Let's get right to that forecast. It's been quite the evening. Yeah, a couple strong storms out there, not affecting everybody. Mm -hmm. Areas like Lancaster County not really seeing much. They might see some later. I want to show you some storm reports here first. Now, there are a couple reports out there that have not filtered through yet, but I want to show you uh, some that have. This is up in the Halifax area. I saw pictures of this as well. Uh, various trees snapped, uh, trees down, branches along the roadway. Uh, all around Halifax, Clarks Valley Road, uh, Peters Mountain Road. And if you head down towards, uh, uh, I guess, very far western Cumberland County near Shippensburg, uh, there's one inch hail. In fact, I did see some other photos of one inch hail further downstream of that in Biglerville. So there, quite a bit of, uh, of uh, hail and a couple of reports of, uh, storm, of wind damage out there this evening. So what does it look like for the rest of the evening? Let's get right to that right now. You see not much going on for most of us east of Harrisburg, but there is this cluster of storms uh, just exiting Huntington County right now. If we zoom in, we'll see uh, there was a warning on it, but I think it's just expired. I, I still think there could be some small hail in there and gusty winds. This is uh, very close to the previous storm uh, around six o'clock. So areas like Shippensburg and even parts of uh, into Franklin County now we'll be seeing this storm over the next hour. Again, it could be a strong one there. And for the rest of the evening, I think the best chance of storms is gonna be in the southern tier in this area from this cluster. And I think we have to monitor this shower as well. It could also develop, but at this point, I'm really banking on this circle seeing the most activity. And Precision Cast kind of agrees. I think it's painting us a little bit too far east, but York and Lancaster will still be on guard uh, watching for some showers. But either way, we all clear out here by midnight. In fact, uh, by midnight, uh, no more ra rain on the radar at all. So that's good news for all of us. If you have to clean up, you can uh, begin cleaning up tomorrow morning because this weekend is going to be pretty nice. In fact, let's get right to that weekend outlook because we had storms today. We got storms on Monday, but the good news is in between Saturday and Sunday will be very nice. Sun and clouds, it's not going to be wall to wall sunshine either day, but temperatures in the mid 80s for the beginning of August, not too bad, not extremely humid, but it will become a little more humid Sunday night into Monday. That's ahead of a cold front. And as we look at the timing of that cold front, it's looking like Monday afternoon into the evening is the best chance. So here's nine o'clock Monday night. You see the thunderstorms coming through. And this is, uh, we, we're looking at maybe some strong storms again. So we'll keep an eye on that. Maybe uh, potentially wider coverage as well as compared to today. So that's Monday afternoon. But before that, a great weekend, Valerie. And then the rest of the week after the storm chances on Monday, not too bad, very seasonable. Temperatures in the mid 80s and maybe some hit or miss storms by the end of the week. But that's not a great chance. Definitely Monday is going to be the strongest chance of storms. OK, I hear your printer going. So I'm guessing more information is coming in as we speak. We're going to go check it. About the storms. Thank you, Michael. All right. Well, this.